need to form an LLC before you can start your ATM business? That's the question we're going to tackle in this here video. Hey there, my name is Carrie Buck and I've been an independent ATM business owner since 2009 and I've been an ATM business mentor since 2011 where I teach people just like you how to start and grow your own profitable ATM business. So, do you need to start an LLC before you um, start your ATM business? No, you don't. Actually, it took us a, a little bit before we uh, created our LLC for our ATM business. Um, so no, you don't have to do that right away. Um, but here's the thing, guys. Listen to this really, really closely, very carefully. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Why do I say that? I am not a CPA. I am not a tax professional. I cannot give you tax advice. Does that make sense? Neither can any other person on YouTube talking about the ATM business. Neither can any other person, you know, on Google or whatever that you find talking about the ATM business, unless, of course, they are a CPA or some type of tax professional. Okay? So please, please, I'm begging you, stop asking people that are not qualified to answer questions for you. Okay? I can teach you about the ATM business. I can tell you the business entity that I have, but I can't tell you what's best for you. Okay? I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax professional. Okay? You need to have that discussion with a CPA or a tax professional that you know, like, and trust in your specific uh, location, right? And one that knows your finances, right? Because in the beginning, correct, you don't, you don't need to have an LLC, right? You can just be a sole prop, right? Um, but as time goes on, you start making some money, you're probably going to want to choose a business entity. What type? It's up to how much money you're making. That's up to what your CPA recommends, right? You can become an LLC and treat it as a partnership or S corp or C corp or what have you, right? Or you could just be a straight up S corp or a straight up C corp, right? But you need to have that discussion with your tax professional, okay? I hope I made myself clear there. But to answer the actual question, <laughs> no, you do not have to uh, form an LLC in the beginning. And I understand why some people are asking that because in some states, I know it's really expensive, like California, uh, I, I know it's really a price to start an LLC, right? So in a state like that, yeah, I, I wouldn't start one. I personally wouldn't start one. I wait until you start making money, right? But have this discussion with your CPA, okay? I hope this makes sense. And do me a favor, don't forget to like this video. Give me some thumbs up, please. And click that little ATM so you subscribe to this channel so whenever I create another video, you can get notified. And of course, if you would like to learn more about the ATM business and you would like me to potentially teach you the ATM business, I invite you to go to ATM businessblueprint.com again that's atm businessblueprint.com as soon as you enter your email you are going to I, I would say within 15 minutes you're going to have my atm roadmap sent to your email and uh check your spam it might be in there um it'll show you how i went from zero to generating three to five thousand dollars plus per month just by putting atms in local businesses in my area um, but once you enter your email, you're going to go to a, another page, right? The thank you page, if you will. And there's a really super informative video on that page. Um, and I go over my hybrid ATM investing system there. Watch it. Listen to it. Pay attention to it, right? And if you are intrigued by it and you're interested by it and you're ready to go, follow the directions, right? If you would like me to help you. Um, and you'll fill out an application. And then you'll set up a call with someone from my team. And then uh, they'll go over your goals and figure out if one of my training programs are a fit for you. Okay? Um, easy as that. All right? ATMBusinessBlueprint.com. If you have any questions about anything I just said, post it below. Do not ask me for tax advice. I already got them telling you I'm not a CPA or tax professional. Right? But you can ask any questions you want below about this video. Uh, also, if you would like to recommend a, um, a new video that I do in the future, Post that below too. Let me know. 
And uh, maybe your, the next video uh, will be one that you asked a question about. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, and may you live happily off of passive income.